Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the Falcon F4 by GameSir, a mobile gaming controller for only 24, 25 pound on Amazon UK at the moment. It's compatible with Android and iOS. So straight out of the box, this is folded. It looks nice and compact. It is made of plastic and rubber. The wings do fold out, which is pretty cool. And that will obviously clasp around whatever smartphone you place in there. And the smartphones can fit up to 6.5 inches. And for this demonstration today, I will be using the OnePlus Nord for that. This is a 6.44 inch phone. So I like the design on the controller. It looks futuristic, quite sort of uh, like a transformer sort of look to it really, you know, with the foldable wings. It's got a nice squidgy blue rubber padding, so it's gonna protect the smartphone on the back and in the wings and the bottom as well. The lever at the bottom, if you pull on that, that actually acts as a power switch, a power on. So when it's closed, it's off, and as soon as you put a phone in there, the green lights will come on and the gamepad will turn on. Along the top of the pad, there is a Type-C port, so you can charge your device using Type-C cable, and you do get a Type-C cable with it. And on the wings, you get a left and right trigger, and a turbo button on each wing as well. And you can see the contacts on here. If you switch it around at the back, you can see the gold or sort of copper contacts you can see on there. That's gonna make contact to the display on your smartphone. So let's put this controller to the test. Now there are volume buttons here on the side here, power on the side there. That's another thing you have to consider when placing it in the controller. So you can see the grooves in there. The buttons should sit nicely in there, so you shouldn't be getting any accidental button presses. So I'm gonna have it this way. So the volume button is accessible. I'm gonna pull down on here, you should see it turn on. Okay, we've got green lights. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Obviously now I've lost use of the power key, so I can't gain access to that, but we can still launch the game. Gaming mode is on. So we need to configure the game for the controller. So you have to go into the settings and control settings, custom layout. And then you need to drag your power and aim buttons. So I have my aim button up here fire button up here. I believe that's the fire button. And if you move them across, we should have hitting that one. I don't know if it's hitting that one though. There we go. You can make also you can also make it bigger the controller as well. So you can see it's hitting that and then it's hitting that as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So I believe that is the, the fire button. Click confirm. And then back. Let's get into a game, see what it's like. Okay, so it's loading. Now you've got the turbo buttons here you press the turbo buttons, it is green. Press them again, it is orange, and again it is red. You have three different turbo boosts. Okay, so I went in and changed the controller configuration to advanced. It was on basic, so it was basically, when you aim, it would shoot. So I've got my aim set up, press once, and boost as well, you can change your boost. Green, orange, red. I'm gonna keep it off. Let's see what I can kill. Oh yes. I think obviously depending on the size of your hand, it might feel a little bit um, 
uncomfortable. I mean, I can reach the triggers fairly easy and the turbo as well. I don't even have to use my fingertips. I can use the, the middle of my finger there and it's working fine. But it's strange at first, so we're getting used to holding that with the trigger attached or the controller. And I'm dead. There we go. Another one. Ah. So the controls are, you know, they're rapid. The sensitivity is good. There's no issues there. There's no delay or lag in that respect. I'm getting kills here. Absolutely fine. It is definitely responsive. What's this? Oh yeah. <laughs> Flamethrower, nice. Ah, oh, damn it. So in terms of battery capacity, the actual controller, it says 90 milliamps. So it doesn't sound um, a lot. I think charging can take one to two hours as well. And I'd imagine you'd have quite a few hours of gameplay on this. But I think once you get used to the the controls, holding them, I think it's, um, oh, what's happened here? Oh, it's defeat. It's finished. Yeah, I think once you get used to actually holding it, because it does feel a little bit clumsy at, at first, um, for your hands and fingers, but once you're, you're there, it's pretty cool. So I think this is a nice designed gaming controller. Transformer-like wings, which expand and close down. It's got a nice padding there, so it's gonna protect the phone. Charges with a Type-C cable, which is great as well. Battery operated. Uh, I think it's a neat little controller. So if you're into gaming, mobile gaming as well, and you've got similar sort of controllers like this, then this could be perfect for you. There's up, there are links in the description below if you want to take a further look. Got a little bit of getting used to when you're first using it because it's a little bit odd wrapping your fingers around like that. But you get used to it and it works well. And I got some kills as well on Call of Duty, which counts. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This is the quick review of the F4 Falcon. Go and check it out. Any questions, then pop them down below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you soon.